Namaste. Welcome to Med Yoga Flow for mobility and flexibility. Let's begin today's practice sitting up tall in any comfortable seated pose to scan your body. You can come to cross leg or kneeling or leg straight forward. Just make sure your spine is elongating and place your hands on top of your legs. Keep your eyes closed, chin slightly, tuck down please. It's time to reconnect with yourself. Take full breath in. Deep cleansing breath out. Once more, inhale. Let go of any events before this practice or after this practice, let it all go. Beautiful. Fully engage yourself throughout today's practice. Make your way to child pose, Palasana. If you need any other yoga props other than a yoga mat, please grab them. Yoga blocks or belt or yoga strap will come in handy for your shoulder mobility. Make your way down to child pose with your inner thighs a little bit wide open and begin to crawling yourself forward. Relax your chest and your hips down. Your hips don't need to touch your heels in child pose, but encourage yourself to send your hips further back, little further back, so you feel your hip flexor deeply folding and relaxing your lower back. Take full breath in. Empty, exhale out. Fingers wide open. And let's begin to waking up to your fingertips. Grip on your mat. On your next inhalation through your nose. Slowly, mindfully, come forward to table to position. Let's close your inner thighs a little bit together in line with your hips. Exhale, send your hips further back to your heels as you push the mat with your palms. Relax your spine, head and neck down. Come forward and back with your own pace, three rounds. Do your best to equalizing your inhalation to your exhalation. Ujjayi Pranayama is in your practice. Continue to inhale, creating beautiful hissing sound through your nose and out through your nose. The breath of victory. Once more, come forward, inhale. Shoulders over your wrists, tuck your toes under. Let's gently rocking forward and back. Your toes and your nails slightly creeping as you engage your core, as you send your hips farther toward to your heels, we circle your full body toward to the right, left, and back to your heels. Two. One more. Let's reverse three rounds. Very nice. Bring your torso back to the center, shoulders over your wrists, hips in line with your knees. Thumbs a little close together. As you're pressing through your left palm, opening up your right arm toward to the side, with your chest, with your gaze, up toward to the sky. Exhale, lower your upper hand down, back toward to the center. Twice more, inhale, open up. Just go right range of motion for your mobility. And out, one last round. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Other side, pressing your right palm and your fingertips grip and open to the left side. Left hand goes up as your chest gaze follow. Exhale, take it down. Twice more, inhale. Exhale, one last round. Very nice. As you bring your upper hand back to the center, let's come to strong fist, 
pressing your knuckles down, pressing your feet down. On your next inhalation, from your tailbone, slightly arch on your lower back, mid back, upper back, and your chin, up toward to the sky, deep into cow pose. Exhalation, keep pressing through your wrist, sorry, keep pressing through your knuckles, keep your wrist straight, chin to the chest, rounding your spine. Inhale, three rounds, cats and cows. Beautiful stretch through the front of your body, cow. Exhale, rounding your spine to cat. As we go through cats and cows twice more, we're slightly rocking forward to cow. As we exhale, rounding your spine to cat and send your hips a little bit toward to your heels. One last round, inhale, cow. Exhale to cat. Beautiful. Let's come back to neutral. Plant the palms down firmly. Tuck your toes under. Keep your knees bent, lifting up, and send your hips back. Common mistake for downward facing dog is overstretching your legs and rounding your upper back. So please make sure to keep your knees a little bit bent to focusing on your spinal elongation first. Only if your body takes a little bit further, then get your knees a little bit straighter. Maybe bring your legs a little bit close toward to the middle. Ankles touch, inner thighs touch, legs straight with your spine elongating. And stay in downward facing dog to breath. Gazing toward your belly button. Very nice. Let's gazing forward, bend your knees deeply. Walk as many as you need or big one step step to the top of your mat. Palms on top of your shins, creating long, strong spine flat back. Exhalation, fold over your legs, head and neck heavy. Just like downward facing dog, think about your elongating your spine instead of getting your knees straight and rounding your upper back. So keep your knees softly bent, elongating your spine. Only if you have more space, get your knees a little bit straighter. Pressing your feet, let's ro roll your spine up to stand, arms up over your head, palms touch. Exhalation, drop your right hand down by your side as you pressing your left foot, opening up through your left side body as you lower to the right side. Very good. Inhale, pressing your left foot. Come up, stand up tall. Exhale, left hand drop. Right arm goes over your head. Keep pressing your right foot. Inhale, coming back to the center. Arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Come to halfway flip back. Inhale, longer spine. Keep engaging your front of your thighs. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Well done. Big full breath in. Big sigh. In your downward dog, let's extending right leg goes up toward to the sky. Feel your right hip flexor all the way to your toes. And feel your back of your left leg supporting your right leg. Circle your right ankle. Three, two, one. Reverse. Three, two, one. Let's pull the right knee to your chest and just lower your right shin and right knee down. Pivot your back foot. Walk your right hand a little bit forward. If you need to, spin your right leg slightly to the outer side. Open up to side plank variation. Left hand goes up to the sky. Big full breath in. As you keep pressing your back arc edge of your foot, bring your upper hand close by your face. Wait for inhale. Exhale, let's circle your upper hand down for two. Inhale, circle goes up. Exhale, down for one. Shall we reverse twice? Very good. One last round. Great job. Lower your upper hand down. Turn your back heel up. 
Make your way back into downward facing dog. As you pressing your heels down, walk your hands toward your feet. Heel to open your feet, mat distance apart. Turn your toes slightly to the outer side. Keep your kneecaps in line with your second toes as you sink your hips low into Malasana. If your hip mobility is stopping you halfway, stop here without arching your back. Do your best to elongating your spine. Do your best to pressing your feet down and heels down. Only if you have more space, lean down and down, lower down with your spine elongating. Keep on checking your knees, stay in line with your second toes, please. Soft gaze toward to the tip of your nose. As you're pressing your feet, engage your glutes to rise up to stand. Inhale. Exhale, sink down back into Malasana. I say sinking, but your energetic body is keep rising and grounding at the same time. Twice more like this, pressing and rise. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. One last round. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, lower down back to Malasana. Big full breath in, chest lift. Exhale, lower the hands down, hips up, turn your feet parallel. Halfway back to flat back, longer spine. Fold forward, exhale. Hands on your hips, slowly roll your spine up to stand. Three, two, one. When you stand up tall, let's soften your knees, push your hips toward to the right side. And hips circling back as you make your back flat and keep your knees straight. And bend your knees, push your hips toward to the left. And this time push your pubic bone hips forward. So let's make a big hip circle to the right side. Three. Very good. Two. One. Let's reverse. Beautiful. One last biggest circle. Great job. Bring your hips back to the center. Stand up tall, arms up over your head. Inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Walking forward to downward facing dog. Left leg reaching up toward to the sky as you keep push, pushing the mat with your palms. Reaching as you lengthening, circle your ankle. Other side. Head and neck heavy, elongating a little more. Exhale, pull the knee to your chest and lower your shin down. Walk your left hand forward. Pivot your back foot. Open up to side plank. If you need to again, turn your front leg slightly to the outer, bottom leg to the outer side. Before you just bring your upper hand close by your face, I need you to feel the connection. So keep pressing the edge, art, um, sorry, edge of your back foot as you big toe press, root to rise, and bring your upper hand close by your face. Slightly push your hips forward, lifting up to your chest and gazing up. Let us wait for inhale together. Exhale, bring your upper hand, circle down. Big range of motion on your shoulder and upper body. Inhale, circle goes up. Exhale, down. Shall we reverse twice? Beautiful, bring your upper hand down. Turn your back heel up. Step back into downward facing dog. Big full breath in. Side it out. Lower your knees down back to table and check your shoulders over your wrists. Keep your thumbs a little close together. Remember the very first exercise we did, we are adding on. Opening up to the right side, right arm goes up high. Exhale, needle and thread this time. Send as far as you could and lower your shoulders and lower your right temple down. 
One thing to be checking is shoulder, shoulders relax and your knees in line with your hips. Now, if your shoulders and your upper body is tight, maybe your head is hovering up, you can grab your block to rest in your head and neck down, or you can just send your hips a little bit further back. Now, make it to your own um, comfort in your body as you're pushing into the mat with your left palm. Stay, breathe. Beautiful. Let's bring your right hand back to the center. Come on to your fist again. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Reset with cats and cows once more. Great job. Come back to neutral. Plant the palms down. Moving on to the left side. Left hand goes up high as you twist chest and gazing follow at your thumb exhale needle and thread underneath your right hand shoulders relaxed head and neck relaxed continue to breathe lower belly drawn in Very nice. Slowly undo your left hand. Walk your hands a little forward. Chaturanga, Dandasana, all the way down to your belly. Pressing your tops of your feet down. Arms out to T-shape. Forehead down, please. Just make sure your upper body relax before we move on to twist. Relax your hips down. Flip your right palm up toward the sky. So your shoulder is internally rotating. Bend your left knee. Peel your thigh off of the mat. Inhale. Exhale. We are twisting toward the right side. You feel your right chest, right side of your chest risen and your shoulders deeply stretching. If you have more space, catch your foot with your right hand and keep kicking your foot into your palm. So you can feel the connection through your hip flexor all the way up to your chest. Stay, breathe. One more thing to remind is bottom leg is not just dead down to the mat, but keep pointing and extending straight to the back. Stay another breath. Very nice. Carefully release your foot if you're holding and bring your torso back to the center. Arms out to T-shape, palms facing down. Relax your chest. Moving on to the other side, flip your left palm up toward to the sky. Internal rotation. Right knee bend. Peel your thigh up. We twist toward to the left side. Head and neck relax. Feel your chest, shoulders, and your hip flexor. Also, if you have more space, catch your foot. Kick your foot into your palm. As you feel deep chest opening, which brings shoulder mobility and flexibility. Stay, three. Bottom leg is actively stretching, two. And one, beautiful. Carefully release, bring your spine back to the center. And just gently shake your hips side to side. Well done. Bring your palms by your ribs, pressing up. We meet at child pose. Palasana. Before we closing our practice, we're adding one more beautiful sequence using cats and cows and adding upper facing dog or your choice of cobra. On your next inhalation, rounding your spine one vertebra at a time, bringing mobility on your lower back, mid back, upper back, and all the way to your neck. Before you're shifting back to child pose, if that feels good on your lower back, hips down low, push your belly, chest, and chin up. So you can stay in cobra, or if you can take a little more strength, 
Keep your thighs and knees off of the ground, lifting up your chin up a little bit higher, upper facing dog. Exhalation, softly lower the knees down, big toes together, waving your spine back into child pose. Move slowly and mindfully three rounds like this. Inhale, ripple all the way forward. Your choice of cobra or upper facing dog. Exhale, child pose. Continue to flow with your own pace, please, twice more. One last round. Well done. In your balasana child pose, open your inner thighs as wide as you could, big toes together, and walk your hands all the way up to your thighs. As you sit up tall on your knees, arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhale, twist, wrap your arms around your torso, front hand toward to the outer side of your thigh, look over to your right shoulder. Keep your left hand just catching your thigh and right arm goes up over your head, inhale. Exhale, we lower down toward to the left side. Beautiful, come back to the center. Open your arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhale, we twist toward to the other side. Place your front hand toward to the outer side of your thigh and back hand wrapping around your back. Keep catching your thigh front with your front hand and just release your back hand over your head, inhale. Exhale, lower down toward to the Slowly bring yourself back to the center, arms out to T-shape, and place your hands on top of your thighs. Gentle neck roll, one side. Other side. Beautiful. Make your way to any comfortable seated pose to finish. As you sit up tall, arms out to T-shape, keep your spine long, exhale, bring your prayer hands toward to your heart center. Have a moment to chin down, eyes closed, thinking to yourself to step on your mat and clicking on this video for your body, mind, and spirit. Closing our practice with one chant of OM together, inhale. Appreciate your beautiful energy into today's practice. Looking forward to seeing you on the next class. Have a wonderful and peaceful rest of your day. Namaste.